lay lately back with another video i'm trying to get this adjusted i guess that's gonna be good enough as long as y'all can hear me right that's all that matters um so a couple of things something i missed from my office talk the other day apparently um little wayne was hospitalized he had um he was hospitalized due to the fact he was found unconscious in his hotel room over last weekend and he has suffered um some seizures um, he has since been released, and the doctor is asking him to take a two-week uh, take off for two weeks. But I think I believe Lil Wayne is currently caught it again. I don't know what the hell is going on. Y'all, give me one second. Okay, I get it as good as it gonna get, right? Get this out the way. Get this out the way maybe not okay so um the doctor has asked Lil Wayne to take at least two weeks off I believe Lil Wayne is touring so um he say he hopes to return he's planning to not take the two weeks and jump right back on in and continue um, touring and performing so now Lathan took to social media the other day sporting a ball haircut. Um, she is uh, working on a road that's called um, Napoli Ever After. It's, I think it's going to be a movie on Netflix. And prior to the cut, she was displaying a bunch of different hairstyles. But it is for a role because people was asking, you know, why she's making these changes to her hair. Um, it is for a movie role, but you know, when you getting paid the big bucks, you'll probably cut your hair too. Cause as they say, hair does grow back, but she looks amazing guys. Beautiful, radiant. I think, you know, not having hair brings more attention to her face, which she just exude beauty. So congratulations to her, but she said she just feel light and free and you know, it's funny how we um, that came up because I recently made a decision to try to go natural and no longer um, put chemicals in my hair. Now, I want to still wear my hair straight. I don't want to do the twist out curls and all that. Number one reason is I'm not good at hair. So all that, I twist my hair up at night and you know, the, the twist didn't work out and all this stuff. I'm not good with that type of stuff. I like to just wrap my hair up and go. I like simple hairstyles. I like on the go hairstyles. So that's why for me, I want to continue to wear my hair straight because wrapping it up and putting it in a scarf, combing it down, feathering it out, it works for me. It works for me because I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So that's why I want to continue to wear my hair straight as convenience. Um, it's been a little struggle because I'm just so used to, you know, having a relaxer. And, you know, everybody's telling me, don't quit. No, you know, work with it. It's going to take time. Your hair got to figure itself out post relaxer. And I think the thing is, I still have relaxer in my hair. So it's not like truly out. And then plus my hair is still, um, my hair is still um, halfway perm, relaxed. And then my hair is like um, different lengths at the moment due to breakage. So I am gonna go back to my uh, crochet braids. I'm going back to that for a little bit just to try to get the hair to balance out in terms of length because uh, wearing that from July, I wore that from July to um, the end of December, it really grew my hair and put it back on. So I figured maybe I'll wear that for a little bit. Maybe wear the crochet braids, I don't know, to the end of the year. Or if I take those out, maybe get a nice sew in. But, you know, try to let the hair take a break to grow. I know some people say, well, just get rods. I got a wedding coming up, too, that's going to be real elegant and classy. So I was like, no, I just can't be willy-nilly with my hair. I got to make some, some decisions here. 
So um, I'm gonna see, but a lot of people told me some tricks they do. Uh, some people say they don't fully perm their hair anymore. Um, they just do the edges and the roots. But that was my plan, y'all. That was really my plan. I didn't want to go back to full-fledged perms. I wanted it to work out that I would only need relaxers maybe a couple times a year. And when I did get touch up, it'd be strictly the roots and the edges. That was my intention. But um, my last relaxer that I encountered, they end up doing me like they end up perming the whole head and really I just needed I just needed the relaxer on the roots and the edges but anyway moving along we'll see but yeah I will have my crochets back next weekend pray that their appointment stay put and not change and I can go back to on the go hair because I like on the go hair y'all I really do um some thoughts I've been having lately now, you know there were a group of pastors that asked us to take a stand with Colin Kaepernick, um, his fraternity Kappa Alpha Psi asked us to take a stand. So there's been, you know, they was asking people to do a boycott, boycott the NFL. And a thought I had today, you know, everybody saying Black Lives Matter and we all for the movement, but now that we've been asked to stand up against the, to the NFL, not everybody want to bag down and compromise. And that was just my thoughts. The black lives still matter then? Does it matter because we asked you to take a stand against the NFL? Now it's he in and hiding and it's compromising. And one of the young ladies is like, I like my football. Okay, NFL ain't the only football out here popping. There's college football, there's high school football, there's a little peewee football. So if you're a person that likes to watch football, just go and support the other avenues of football. I'm like, we should be selling out our youth football games anyway. Like, I'm going to my high school homecoming game. I went to my cousin. Um, he plays football for, uh, you know, a high school. I went to his high school football game. So I'm not saying let's ban football altogether. I'm just saying let's shut the NFL down because African Americans and people of color, we are are the largest consumers if we really had if we really would come together and shut the NFL down I bet you Kaepernick would have a job I bet you Kaepernick would have a job but people is like no that's 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 big bugs that's big big wigs you can't fight big wigs you just choosing not to you really just choosing not to you can you just choosing not to but I bet you if we protest, you know, they slowed down. Uh, when all this Black Lives Matter was happening, they shut Michigan Avenue down for Black Friday. I mean, them sales plumbing. We they protest the stores. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see if I can pull over. That's why I hate these damn raggedy ass streets. These raggedy ass streets. That's what it's that's another thing. We need to fight for these streets. Give me one second here. I should leave it down there. Just keep talking to y'all, right? Leave it there. These raggedy streets. That's how people cars be tearing up. That's how people cars be tearing up because of these raggedy streets. They need to fix these damn streets. Let's fight about these damn streets being broken versus fighting about some or getting mad at me while you talking about some we can't ban the NFL. Man, people got the nerve now. I've been posting on my Facebook page about are we banning, I'm banning, I'm boycotting or whatever. Do you know niggas still, excuse my French, I didn't mean to say that word, I'm sorry. People... I still invite me to their football events and part. Uh uh, I'm not supporting. Don't invite me. I love you. I'll come over your house any other time. I'm not coming. I'm not coming to your, um, not coming to your, um, football watching party. And I see the little bars and stuff. They still, and I'm talking about black owned bars, they still want to hold the uh, football watching events and stuff. Not coming, fool. Not coming.
Because just imagine if you was in, in, in Kaepernick's shoes. Just imagine, and I'm not talking about NFL, just put yourself where you were currently, your career, whether you like your career or not, you stood up for the rights of your people. And you can't get a job nowhere. You didn't hurt nobody. You didn't disrespect anybody. You didn't kill anybody. You didn't steal from nobody. You simply said, I'm going to take a knee. Which he probably was at, could have been in prayer. Reflection during that time. You took a knee and now you can't get a job nowhere. So educators, just imagine you was one of the best school teachers out there. Couldn't get a job. And there's people going through that right now. And it has nothing to do with with Kaepernick. This people right now can't get a job in their fields. And they damn good. So could you just stop and put yourself in the shoes? I think that's the problem. We don't stop and put ourselves in the shoes. Some people say, well, even him not working, he still got more money than men. I need my relaxation on Sunday. Well, read a damn book. Read a book. Relax that way. Read a book. So... I don't know, because I put something on my thing. I said, I guess black lives don't matter now because we still supporting the NFL. And some people getting quiet and be the main ones about black lives matter, black lives matter, but you watch your football. So obviously it only matters to you till it's time to watch the football. So black lives don't matter on Sunday, but come back Monday, it'll matter, right? That's all I got today, y'all. Like comment subscribe you know people are like i said people are gonna do what they want to do and that's fine do what you want to do but don't be up here hooping and hollering when stuff hit the fan that's all i'm just trying to say my 08 is just my 08 cents my 08 cents you can like it you don't have to like it that's just my opinion but it was just a thought i had pro you know process so because i just seen somebody i know she all the revolutionary this and the revolutionary that and was the main one that shut down Michigan Avenue and protest Black Friday shopping. But you the main one till I can't wait till the games come on. The NFL starts. Ain't that's compl ain't, ain't that's two face? If you're gonna be in, be all in, boo. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for your continuous support. Have an awesome, blessed, lovely, superb, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious day.